Hi guys, welcome to Brandex Reviews. Now, this is kind of a public service announcement. I say kind of. This information's been out for uh, many weeks by now. Uh, it pertains to the Batman, the 60s TV series release on Blu-ray, DVD and digital download. All of those are affected by this. Now, um, if you're already aware of the issue with the, some of the discs, you probably, this is no nothing new, so you probably won't really want to watch this video. But uh, this is for people that aren't aware of the issue. Now, basically what happened is um, a couple of weeks, I think it was, after the, the box sets and everything were, were released, there was it was identified that there was some bits missing. Now, I'm not quite sure how this happened, but I think some of it is also down to legal ownership of some of the footage, which has now been resolved. It can actually be included and probably should have been to the point where Warner Brothers are actually issuing replacement discs. So what I'm going to do is, like I say, if you're already aware of this, you probably don't need to watch it, but um, I'm going to read the press release. I'm going to tell you how to order your replacement discs. I'm going to give you an update on where we are in this process because I've gone through this um, and I still haven't received any yet. And it's, it's basically a case of we're going to have to be patient. So the press release, as I say, came out, I think it was a, a couple of weeks at least after the, the box set was released, but that's not too important anyway. It was a while ago, let's just say that. Um, and it was Warner Brothers that did the press release. I'm reading this off batmannews.com. Well, it's it's batman-news.com. Pretty good website, and they seem to be kind of leading the way with this. So anyway, I'll shut up now, and I'll just read the actual press release. So... Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, WBHE, will provide fans with replacement discs and digital repairs to the few minor technical issues identified in its recent release of Batman The Complete Television Series. Amounting to less than five minutes of footage within the 50-plus hours of entertainment, the issues encompass one 60-second dropped scene in the episode entitled Marsha's Scheme of Diamonds, a brief piece of rarely heard William Dozier narration that originally opened the pilot episode, High Diddle Riddle, and an assembly of villain tags from the end of assorted episodes. The restoration process of this footage, spanning 48 years and two major studios, has been a superheroic task, and we deeply regret even the smallest of glitches occurring in that process, said Rosemary Markson. Senior Vice President, TV Brand Management and Retail Marketing, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. We recognise our obligation to the fans of this landmark series and we have worked diligently to identify all issues and provide resolutions as quickly as possible. To resolve these issues for consumers purchasing Batman The Complete Television Series, WBHE will make available complete replacement discs for the discs that originally included the episodes Marsha's Scheme of Diamonds and High Diddle Riddle. The villain tags will be reissued as an assembled string of one of the aforementioned discs. As an added bonus, WBHE has acquired rights and legal clearances to both a Bat Vehicle teaser that originally aired as part of the second season opening, Shoot a Crooked Arrow episode, and one of the original promotional tags that aired on the original showing of the the Duo Defy episode. Additionally, all fixes will be made to all digital HD versions of Batman the Complete Television Series. To obtain the replacement discs, consumers who have purchased Batman the Complete Television Series are directed to warnerbrothers.com forward slash help forward slash customer hyphen service. Worldwide demand for the limited edition box set of Batman the Complete Television Series has been tremendous, resulting in widespread retailer sellouts and rapidly dwindling inventories heading into the holiday season. To fulfil consumer interest, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment has announced a new streamlined Blu-ray Blu box set that includes all 120 episodes and matching enhanced content from the limited edition set, but without the added premium items or digital HD copy. Purchasers of this set will also need to utilise the customer service website to obtain replacement discs. So that was the original press release anyway. And like I say, I did email via that website address. You basically, it's not a special page for this situation. It's just a generic customer service page. But you fill it out and just kind of say what your issue is. And they'll email you 
something which came through, if I can just find the actual email, uh, came through to me just before Christmas, about a week before Christmas. And I've only just recently actually filled it out. I just didn't get around to doing it. But uh, you, the email that you'll get will be with a link. I'll just read it out to you anyway. This is, this is the email that I have. This is kind of the content of it. So it says, Thank you for contacting us regarding Batman, the complete television series. We're in the production on replacement discs with a target fulfillment date in late January 2015. If you haven't done so already, you must register at www.shipment-service.com forward slash Batman 66 and provide complete contact and shipping information for the replacement program for specific discs within Batman the Complete Tel Television Series on Blu-ray and DVD. The information provided will allow us to quickly service your needs upon availability for Blu-ray sets disc 1 and 5 will be replaced and for DVD sets disc 1 and 8 you will need the UPC slash barcode number from the box set to complete your request. And again it just reads out that web address and gives you a thanks at the end. Um, so I've done that, I went to that website, this is the email that you get if you go to the generic Warner Brothers customer service um, website, but you don't really need to go through that to be honest, if you just go to that shipment-service.com forward slash Batman 66, you will get um, You'll get this basically. This is this is the how the screen kind of appears, and it says, "Please click the link below to provide complete contact information for the replacement program for specific discs within Batman: The Complete Television Series on Blu-ray and DVD. We are in production on replacement discs and digital repairs with a target fulfillment date of January 2015." And it pretty much reads what I've just read anyway. So basically, you just go to the uh, that page, and you will see the form that you need to fill out. I won't bother showing you it, but um, you fill it out with your personal details, and they will presumably that will do the trick. Now, I haven't, like I said, I haven't received any discs yet because it's not due until late January, from what I understand. There has been an update on the um, BatmanNews.com website. I'll just quickly read what they had to say. Um, this was an update written. On the 17th, so this is when I got my email this, it says the fulfillment process for the Warner Brothers home entertainment, replacement discs and digital repairs on Batman the Complete Television Series is in its initial stages. The first being the actual fixes and production of the discs. Once this initial phase is completed, discs will be distributed. To ensure that you will receive replacement discs, consumers are directed to that website, that shipment service website, or to call 800 8 Nine one one three one one to register and initiate the process. Um, as it says, the um, things should be fulfilled. Well, they'll start issuing them hopefully at the end of January. So we'll see about that anyway. But uh, that's all I have to really say. So, um, like I say, if you if you really if you own this set, whether it's the DVD, the Blu-ray, or the digital download, you might want to check this out and get it sorted now. On the form that I filled out, I had to give the barcode number and also the limited edition number because they're all individually numbered at the blu-ray box sets so you have to pull that down but you can figure it out for yourself anyway i don't need to kind of go through with that and uh nurse made you through the entire thing but uh as i say just wanted to mention this anyway because i reviewed the box set uh back in november so i thought i might as well just do this as kind of an addendum because i'm sure there's people out there that aren't aware of this issue i was only made aware of it like i said because i subscribed to batman news um on facebook and it just popped up there so if it wasn't for that i wouldn't know about this so um i think although having said that i think amazon did send an email out about this as well um so if you bought this through amazon particularly you might have got an email from them as well but anyway that's kind of uh neither here nor there you either know about it or you don't so hopefully if you didn't know about it before you do now so get it sorted out and i will probably post an update once i receive my discs and uh we'll just kind of take it from there but for now that is uh, all I have to really say. So the website is brandxreviews.com. If you haven't seen my review of the 60s Batman series box set, check that out on the website. There is also a review of the Batman 60s movie that I did separately as well, kind of as a run-up to the release of the, the TV series box set. And if you're just generally a fan of Batman, there's plenty of stuff up there as well regarding that and other films, similar genre. But anyway, I'll leave it there. Website is bronxreviews.com and we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.